Hi, this is a quick video to show you what I've done. Uh, the major thing here is that I used peel ply. Uh, peel ply is a material that you put on after you use fiberglass um, or carbon fiber, uh, the epoxy, and you spread it smooth. And then when you peel it off, you end up with the texture of the material on the surface. It allows you to get a very finished surface uh, with your fiberglass so that it requires minimal work afterwards. So what I did was I put the aluminum tape down, then I put a layer of just plain fiberglass cloth on there. Um, unfortunately, the day ran out, so I had to stop there. Uh, it, got, it got dark, and I decided I'd rather do this in the daylight. So I did that. Then this morning I came in, scuffed up the surface, uh, got rid of any high spots, there were hardly any. And then I put a layer of fiberglass uh, mat, a, another layer of fiberglass cloth, and then I put the peel ply on top of that. So ideally the intent will be I peel this off and that piece when it's done will require minimal uh, finished body work to uh, look like it's supposed to. And you can kind of see from the picture it doesn't look bad. Uh, right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it apart and we'll see what we've got. So it is here. I got some other material because this peel ply is not inexpensive. It's not horribly expensive, but it's definitely a roll of the cost me $60. Um, so I was wondering, it kind of looks like nylon. of those materials but it's going to be in a place where probably just on a sample piece. So you can see it's got a real fine weave to it and as you saw the fiberglass soaked through it so the places where there was excess fiberglass right there so this is crinkly now before it was just normal material like that now it's fiberglass reinforced all right so now you can see what i've got so the surface right here it's smooth. Um, there's a little piece right there. I saw this when I was putting the cloth down. I couldn't get it to lay smooth and I had a choice between pulling things up and figuring out what was wrong or leaving it. What happened is whatever this black thing is got on the surface um, and had this lift up. So there was actually an air gap right there. I tried to squeegee it out. I couldn't and I didn't want to pull up the peel ply and mess up the rest of it just to fix that one spot. Same thing happened right here. Um, again, somehow the material got put down, didn't get soaked well enough, uh, but no big deal. 
uh, this transition right here, I wanted to get this curve. I'm going to probably grind this out and smooth this a little more, but I just needed something to start with. And all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the other side of the car, open the door and show you how this thing is going to mount. And so, what I've done is uh, the tape, aluminum tape, is underneath this. This is on top. So now what I'll do is I will pull this off. I went ahead and made this go all the way up into this surface. I'm not sure how I'm going to mount this. I could just come in here and put screws in this surface or down here. Um, and they would be hidden from view when the door was shut. So that may be the best way to mount this. Um, but again, I don't know for sure. I will figure that out. I just saw that as I was actually looking at this and realized, hey, that's not a bad idea. Go ahead and put that uh, in there. So I'm going to pull this off. Um, I did in between the, the advantage of doing the thin layer first is sometimes it's, I should have waxed the uh, aluminum tape don't have to but it does give you an extra barrier there to make it easier uh, to release um, the other advantage to using the aluminum tape is if worse came to worse and for some reason this fiberglass stuck to the aluminum tape you could always put some uh, paint thinner or something behind it it would soften the adhesive on the aluminum tape and you could pull it off aluminum tape and all um, i don't think i'll have to do that and again, in between, before I did this, after I did the first thin layer and then the thicker layer, I went in and uh, used one of these uh, Bondo squeegees and went across this edge. So this whole edge is separated right there from the aluminum tape. And I did it down here. The reason why is because a lot of times when you try to get this loose, the hardest thing is getting it started. So because of the way I did that, it started all the way along the edge. Now the fiberglass is not completely cured, so this would normally be a lot stiffer. Uh, the other disadvantage of pulling it loose is it does it did pull put a slight gap behind this, not critical. Um, but anyway, the reason why I did that is exactly what you see here. When it was relative, or when it was the thin layer, I could literally pick up on this and get it to let loose. Now it's decided because it's stiffer, thicker and stiffer, it doesn't want to let loose as easily as it did. I'm kind of brushing this. Uh, the fiberglass is what we call green. It's not completely cured. So if this doesn't have enough stiffness to it, I'm actually going to distort it as I pull this off. So hopefully I don't mess it up too bad. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to do on the camera because this is going to take a while. So I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and uh, leave you right now and I will pull this off and I'll do another video after I'm finished with this. Have a great day. Like, subscribe, hit that alert. Bye.